Understanding, that's a small fit. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that often confuses learners. That's a small fit. This expression is more nuanced than it seems at first glance, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's dive into the details and find out what it means and how you can use it in everyday conversations. That's a small fit, is an expression used to describe a situation where something, often a piece of clothing, fits tightly or is a bit too small for someone. However, the phrase can also be metaphorically applied to situations or spaces that feel cramped or barely sufficient. The key elements here are, small, and, fit, where, small, refers to the size and, fit, describes how well something conforms or accommodates. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. In clothing, when someone tries on a shirt and it's a bit tight, you might say, that's a small fit. This indicates that the shirt is slightly smaller than what would be comfortable. In spaces, if you're looking at an apartment and the living room feels cramped, you could use the phrase metaphorically, that's a small fit for a family room. In situations, it can also describe situations where there's little room for error or flexibility. For instance, this project timeline is a small fit. We have no room for delays. Here are some tips for using this phrase correctly. Context matters. Always consider the context in which you're using the phrase. It's more commonly used in informal situations. Tone of voice. Your tone can convey whether you're making a light-hearted comment or expressing concern over the fit of something. Alternatives. Be familiar with similar expressions like tight fit or snug fit, which can be used interchangeably depending on the context. Understanding phrases like that's a small fit can add depth to your English communication skills allowing you to express nuances more effectively. Whether you're talking about clothes, spaces, or situations, this phrase can come in handy. We hope this video has been informative and helps you feel more confident in your English conversations. Don't forget to practice using this phrase in different contexts and see how it enhances your communication. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.